Hey guys, Nandini here with the Go and Chess Trio. Today I'm going to show you another opening trap, the Siberian trap. And this arises out of the opening the Smith Mora Gambit in the Sicilian defense. Now, I'm sure a lot of you all may have already experienced playing with it with white or black since it's really popular and nowadays a lot in online chess. But as the black player, if you know you're not really prepared against such a gambit, it's good to have such a trap in mind. So here we are having a look at it. White begins with e4. Black replies c5, the Sicilian defense. White goes d4. And after c into d4, he goes for the Smith Mora gambit with c3 here. And after d into c3, knight into c3, you may ask, why does white simply sacrifice a pawn? I mean, of course, it's a gambit, but what's the point of it? The point is, just like any other gambit, white is hoping for peace play, an open game, easy development, and uh, yes, a lot more than that too, for compensation for the pawn. He has lost or given up. So black goes knight c6, white goes knight f3 again developing. Here black plays a move e6. Now there are other ways to continue too. You could also play d6, but then you would not get this trap on the board. So after e6, now the point of e6 is you are already ready to develop this bishop to whichever square may be suitable for the bishop on this diagonal. And also considering that white may play bishop c4 in the future, you're already blocking the diagonal. And you also have plans of playing d5 later on. So it's a point of it. And uh, here white goes bishop c4, a pretty natural square for the bishop. And he's already planning to castle next. So here black goes queen c7. Now the bishop's hanging. So he already gets his queen to the same file of the bishop and probably he's just keeping the threat of moving the knight away some discovered attack later on in the game the queen coming to c7 may look weird at once but it is a pretty common square for the queen in a lot of variations in the sicilian defense and uh, white castles black continues with knight f6 and white goes queen e2, developing his queen and defending the bishop and defending the pawn. So, yes, another thing too, white would want to play rook d1 and put more pressure on this d7 pawn since it's going to go to d6 and, you know, white's idea will be putting pressure on the d5. So here, black plays the move knight g4 and this is where the Siberian trap comes in. The point of knight g4 is black is provoking white to play h3 because playing h3 in such a position is really natural, right? You just want to kick away the knight. But the idea of the knight g4 move, well, let's have a look at it. If white does play h3, it's going to be a blunder in this position because now black has a killer move and that is knight d4 attacking the queen and the knight. And if white does capture knight into knight, black swings his queen to h2 and delivers a checkmate. And instead, if he does move the queen because it's attacked, if he does play a move like queen d1, let's say. Now, as you see, the queen cannot really go to h2 because this knight's just going to capture. So what does black have to do? Black has to get rid of the f3 knight. And that was his idea when he played the move knight d4. So knight into f3 check and however white captures g into f3 or queen into f3 does not really matter let's have a look at queen into f3 black will reply with queen h2 and this is again a checkmate now if white does not want to get checkmated he would have to give up his queen for example he would have to play h into g4 taking the knight and giving up his queen over here and as you see on the board black is having a whole lot of material advantage and uh, black should comfortably convert this into a win now let's go back to the knight g4 move the idea of knight g4 now you may have realized is playing the move knight d4 so you could actually deflect this knight from here and get to h2 with the queen 
so now there are a lot of times that your opponent is not going to fall into the trap right so not everyone is going to play h3 now if white does play a move like g3 instead you know there's no more uh, siberian trap on the board now how do you continue well you can just continue regular development and you will be doing fine no issues now the point of this siberian trap is knight g4 and knight d4 and also note the move knight g4 is not a bad move in this position in fact it's one of the best moves not only does the knight g4 move provoke white to make a weakness on the king side but in the future if the knight is ever attacked it could also always come to the e5 square and you know attack the f3 knight the c4 bishop and black should be doing pretty fine and uh, this idea is very important it's not just that this idea arises in the smith mora gambit the siberian trap but this idea of knight d4 after knight g4 could arise in any other opening any other variation so the idea is really important you could implement it anywhere else and yeah this is it with the siberian trap the knight d4 idea very important so if you did like this video and you would want to see more of such videos then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel i'll see you soon in the next video bye